Hi, I wanted to show everyone how to add vocabulary or words to the LAMP Words for Life Spanish-English full program. First, I'm going to show you how to add a word in Spanish, and then I will show you how to add a word in English. Okay, so the Spanish word I'm going to add is agua fresca and that's going to be under our drinks and agua fresca is a noun and typically nouns are going to be found in the first two top rows so um, either you know right here i could add it or in this blank space over here i'm going to choose this location right here so the first step of adding a word is uh, look at the key that you want to add it to but don't select it and then you're going to select your setup key and it says up here, select the key you wish to modify. So I'm going to select this white key right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, search for an icon. I call this the programming triangle. Um, we're going to first do the icon, then we're going to change the message and then the label. So one, two, and three all in a triangle. So first I'm going to change the icon and I am going to, there are two ways to search for icons. We can either search by category or by spelling, and I'm gonna do this one by spelling. So I'm just gonna select spell icon to find, and I'm gonna type uh, awa, and then say okay. And the symbol I'm gonna use for uh, awa fresca is this one right here. Uh, so you can see that the label is awa de Jamaica, uh, and uh, it's not what I want. So I'm gonna change that um, so I'm going to go into spell message or define key function and I'm going to clear out the display and then type awa and a space and fresca. And make sure when you're typing the message that you put a space after the final character. That's important because if you don't, the next word is going to sit on top of this word and be a run on um, word. So. I have my space, so I'm going to select OK. And you're going to see that the label changed as well. And then I'm going to say OK again. And so now under my drinks, I have Agua Fresca. OK. Now we're going to do that same thing on the English side. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the English side of the vocabulary. And the next thing I have to do, uh, because I want to search for a symbol in English, I need to change the communication language. So I'm going to go into the toolbox to do this. And I'm going to go into the user area menu. And then I'm going to change the communication language on the bottom of the screen here and select English. When I do this, this allows me to search for the symbols in English. If you want to search for the symbols in Spanish, your communication language should be set to Spanish. If you want to search for symbols in English, your communication language should be set to English. So I'm already set to English, so I'm good. So I'm just going to OK out. And now I'm going to add the word uh, smoothie. So I'm going to go to my drinks over here. And then um, I'm going to add the word smoothie, maybe in this location right here. So I'm going to be looking at the key. I'm not going to touch it. And then I'm going to do my setup key, select the key you wish to modify, this blank key right here. And the symbol I'm going to choose for smoothie is going to be fruit. So I'm going to go into change icon. And uh, like I said, I could either search in the food category or spell icon defined, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to type the word fruit and say OK. And then I'm going to select my fruit. Picture is good, message is not. I want it to say smoothie. So I'm going to select there and clear it out. And now uh, type smoothie. Make sure there is a space at the end of the word. Select OK. My label changed automatically, so I'm good there. I'm going to select OK again. And let's see, there is my word uh, smoothie. So that is how you are going to add uh, nouns to Lamp Words for Life uh, Spanish-English in the full vocabulary.